Hey guys, this is Eric, and today we're going to use Notepad++ to quickly convert a bullet list copied from a Microsoft Word document into a comma or a semicolon separated list. Now this can be a useful way of formatting bullet lists to be stored in a spreadsheet cell when using MS Excel or even OpenOffice Calc. The items needed for today's tutorial are Notepad++ and MS Word. Let's get started. Okay. You can see I have a uh, bullet list already here. And you can see it has these um, symbols that Microsoft Word uses. Now, when you copy and paste into Notepad++, it'll convert those bullets into these uh, symbols as an ASCII character. <clears throat> I'm not sure what the ASCII number is, but uh, you can look it up. For the, today's purposes, all we want to do is know that we can copy that and if we hold down this shift key and use the right arrow we can highlight that at the beginning of the line now don't worry about what you see the green that's just um, notepad plus plus saying hey here's other occurrences of the same thing so it's just kind of giving you a hint as to what what will be covered now I'm still holding down the shift key arrow one more time and it'll take care of that tab also now you could do control C to copy it into uh, your clipboard and then paste it and then search from there but the cool thing about notepad plus plus is it automatically clipboards it when you highlight it so if you do control H see it's already in there so what we want to do at this point is we want to um, See, we're in the uh, replace, uh, search and replace window. And so for find what, we're going to find that bullet, the um, tab that comes after it. But we want it in special situations. And here's where. Wherever there's a period, that's the end of a sentence, right? That's the end of one of our bullet points. Wherever there's a period and then a bullet point immediately after that, that's where we're going to want to put uh, semicolon and a space. Now we're using semicolons because since these are long bullet points you see like in the second one we've got commas in there already so if we used commas to separate them the the individual bullet points it might get confusing so in this case as I said we're going to go ahead and use semicolons which is a good alternative. Now so what do we do? So we've already got the bullet and we've got the tab but what we need is some way to say okay grab that period and grab the uh, the enter key well enter key is represented I'll show you here first we can put in the period uh, and then put the enter key as slash R slash N that's how you represent enter in Notepad++. Uh, some people call it carriage return. Sometimes it's called um, new line. It's the same thing. Uh, if you had two new lines in a row and you were trying to find those, you would do slash rn or slash r slash n and then another slash r slash n. And you just keep doing that for how many ever you're doing. But so right now so we've got period and it's going to find that carriage return the um, bullet point and then the tab all right and then what I want to do is I want to replace that with a semicolon and then I'm going to hit the space bar because I want it to not ram the last sentence right on the semicolon I want a space so now I'm going to do if you were in a larger document uh, with other things in it, you'd, you'd select all this and you'd do uh, in selection, but we're, we don't need to do that here. Just make sure your cursor is at the top. Go to replace all and bada bing bada boom. Now you look, there's my semicolon. We got our space, go to the next one. Semicolon, space, excellent. And then that saves you a lot of work so imagine if you had <clears throat> six to twelve bullet points you you would save a lot of work in this instance 
uh, and you'd only have to go back and manually delete this one. So delete, delete, boom, it's ready to go. Now I can take this, and in case you were wondering, this is, uh, I'm working on a resume on the stuff I've done and stuff I used to do. This is from a job when I worked as an AIX help desk administrator at IBM in Rochester, Minnesota in 2000, right before the dot-com crash and the bubble burst, as they say. But what we want to do, now I, my Excel uh, subscription ran out, so now I'm using OpenOffice Calc. So I'm going to come over here, and what you'll see is, this is duties, and here's accomplishments. So I'm going to go ahead and paste this in on my accomplishments section. So F2, and Control V, and boom. Now that's in there. So the reason we do it this way is because it, when you, if you try to uh, uh, cut and paste, and it would work this way in Excel also, you can't paste bullet points. So if you tried to cut and paste the bullet points in, it would remove the bullet points anyway, but it would also remove like your periods and stuff, uh, and it would just be a confusing mess. At least this way, you can go through and you can see, oh, okay, semicolon. And if you want, later on, you can split it at the semicolon. I'll show you that. You can, we can do that in reverse. So the same thing, right? So let's go ahead and uh, we'll control H and we'll just do the opposite. Since we still have that in there, we'll grab those symbols. <clears throat> control C. Space. Bada bing, bada boom. Replace all. Again, now we only have one that we have to manually do. Everything else was done um, automatically, <clears throat> automating the process, making it a lot easier and quicker. Okay, well, I hope I've been of some help for you today. Uh, if this video has helped you, please make sure to smash the, the like and the share button below, and have a great day.